Yo, what is up, guys? Back again to the channel. So today, guys, uh, I'm gonna be um, re uh, my talk about my movie review for my non-spoiler review for Morbius. All right, I literally just came out of the theater to go watch it, and okay, let me get let me get into like non-spoiler details. All right, so what? Let me just say, what do I rate this movie? A 5.5 out of 10. That's what I rated. A 5.5 out of 10. For me, and uh, for me. The only movie I can really compare this to is pretty much New Mutants. All right, this movie wasn't awesome. I didn't come out this movie being like this was awesome. I didn't come out this movie saying it was great. I think it's in between. It's in. It's between good, decent, and all, all right. That's what I think. That's what I think. See, that's the thing. I'm still wrapping my head around it. I think it's around there. You know what I'm saying? And I think, I think this movie, I feel like it felt like one of those movies where Sony, it feels like one of those movies where like, it feels like Sony just made a movie just to, to introduce the character and just to be, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, I guess, like, I don't know, like, I don't know how to ex exactly explain it. Like, you shouldn't, like, okay, kind of look at it as, like, 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 I guess when you're playing Nerf, all right? Look at, like, uh, I know it's not exactly, but, like, when you're doing Nerf, right? And you're shooting bullets to, like, distract them, you know what I'm saying? But, like, you're shooting bullets that are still going to waste through ammo, but it's still, like, it's meant to set you up for a bigger shot, I guess. I guess that's what it is, you know what I'm saying? Guess that's what it is, you know what I'm saying? And that's the only way I can describe it. But, like, that's not exactly, because nobody really ever does that nerf. When everybody shoots a nerf, they just want to go to the thing, you know what I'm saying? But, like, <clears throat> me personally, I, I thought this movie at most was all right, you know what I'm saying? I didn't think it was nothing crazy good. I didn't think it was nothing... I didn't think I didn't think it was horrible. I think I didn't think it was as bad as people portrayed it to be on the um reviews. You know what I'm saying? The Rotten Tomatoes thing. Sorry, sorry. That's hold on, hold on. Hold on, my bad, my bad. Sorry, sorry. The glass. sorry, sorry. My apologies guys, um we just passed by the police. My bad, my bad. Damn, guys. We just passed by the police and there was like a shit ton of glass. But yeah, back to all saying. Um, we just passed by the police. My bad, guys. But yeah. So basically, like I said, this movie isn't horrible. It's not as bad as people were treated. People were talking about the CGI. There's nothing wrong with the CGI, all right? Let me get that straight. There's nothing wrong with the CGI. My bad, my bad. My bad. Damn, my bad, my bad. There's nothing wrong with the CGI. All that it is, all that it is, is, so, the only way I can explain it is, like, you remember in Age of Ultron, Quicksilver, right? You know when he runs, he has that, like, like blur, that, like, the kind of, like, smoke-type thing behind him? Same thing as Nightcrawler, when he disappears and he has that smoke, leftover smoke? That's what it is. So, but, like, when they're fighting, it always follows them. Like, when he catches a ball, that's how it was, you know what I'm saying? And when they were fighting, or like whenever he, he would jump, it would get a bit bur blurry because of that little smoke after smoke thing. So, that's the only way, that's the only way I can describe it. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way I can describe it, pretty much. And, that's pretty much the only way I can describe it. Pretty much. And I feel like... I feel like it wasn't bad. And I'm saying, like, Film Stock said. Shout out to him. Like, Film Stock said. It's like it's kind of like how in Transformers, right? When the... In part 2. Part 2 of Transformers. When, when that scene where uh, Octus Prime gets killed, like, just for the movie. And when he's fighting um, Starscream and Megatron and stuff like that. And that other guy. When they were fighting beyond the trees, that's what it looked like. That's what it kind of felt like. 
there was nothing wrong with the CGI. That's just how it felt. You know what I'm saying? Pacing, this movie was great. Like, during pacing, like, pacing-wise, I would say kind of rushing a bit, but it wasn't that bad. You prefer it to be better pacing than it dragging on. You know what I'm saying? This movie didn't 100% feel... There were some... Like, I'd say, like, a few parts that felt like it kind of dragged on. But it wasn't necessarily, like, that had, like, me sleeping or, like, that was, like... No, I mean, I never sleep during a movie. I mean, like, me, like, like just being, like, oh, this is boring. No, no, no. But, like, it also wasn't that movie that had me off my chairs. You know what I'm saying? And the villain. Before this, me and my... I was talking to my bro. Shout out to Aiden. I was talking to my bro... And we were like, bro, who is the villain for this movie? You know what I'm saying? He was actually the first one who said it. But then that, I also thought that to myself. And like, bro, who was the villain? Like before this, we didn't even know who the villain was from the trailer. We just thought that like, he was some anti-hero. He was going to be some guy who was diagnosed with like some bat uh, race, not bat powers type, vampire type things. And that's just how it was. You know what I'm saying? That's what we thought it was. But it wasn't. But like... You know what I'm saying? But the villain, he wasn't bad. He, and okay, the only way I can really describe it is he's kind of similar to Reverse Slash in a way. He was petty because, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to explain it more into my spoiler. Um, review, my bad guys, there's a train. Um, but that's the only way I can really describe it. That it's pretty much just, it's pretty much just a, um, pretty much just a petty situation kind of he did he it, it, it's kind of like a petty situation kind of well not kind of kind of mostly <clears throat> my god and but after his his like pettiness was like over with he was actually a pretty solid villain i'm not gonna say he's a top tier villain i'm not gonna say he's one of the best villains no but for a movie like this he was a good villain if pretty much the only way i can describe this movie is like an early 2000s superhero movie if it was an anti-hero in the main role. Know what I'm saying? And yeah, that's pretty much all I can explain it real, really. Jerry Leto killed it in the role. This movie was not as bad as people are portraying it. There's like, it's dog shit or something like that. No. It's just, if, 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 I, if I can explain it like, it like, like I said, it was just a movie they threw out there just to introduce the character so they can set up what's future what's for the future of spider-man you know i'm saying that's all that's all it really was you know i'm saying but other than that other than that it was nothing too crazy it was nothing that was like kind of like spider-man that went home um the ending uh, it's, it's kind of like one of them things where it's like no way it, it kind of felt like a michael bay type thing where he ends off his movies but like he when they're when he's talking when like for example uh Oculus prime when he's talking and the movie cuts out like the way michael bay does it it's cool but the way this movie did it i just didn't like it. i just didn't feel satisfied i didn't feel satisfied until i saw the post credit scenes which didn't make sense which i'm gonna get into in a few but you know what i'm saying it just didn't 100 percent make sense but it wasn't necessarily that bad it what i mean it's cool what's for the future of spider-man but like it just didn't really make sense in a way like yeah it didn't make sense like now you have to explain all this other stuff now you have to talk about it i mean now you have to explain it now you have to go with like how like how and like why or like what you know what i'm saying but yeah overall this was just a great thing and yeah overall this movie was decent this movie wasn't too crazy this movie wasn't this movie obviously isn't i pretty much i can just compare it to new mutants it wasn't horrible but it wasn't great. It wasn't great. My bad. It wasn't great, but like, at most, it was, it was solid. It was solid. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way I can pretty much explain it. And that's all. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. Um, pretty much. Um, I, like I said, I rate this movie a 5.5. I do like Jerry Leto's portrayal of Morbius. He, it's it's, it's kind of like a new character into the big screen. And kind of like, cause like I do, I do really love like us seeing new characters like Moon Knight, Shang Chi. You know what I'm saying to the live action world. You know what I'm saying. And I thought Jared Leto did this fabulously. And yeah, this is pretty much it for my non-spoiler. Oh wait, real quick, we talk about post-credit scenes. Okay, 
um, the post credit scene didn't really make sense. Um, <clears throat> it didn't really make sense. There are things I'm gonna talk about my my spoiler review, but overall, this is just what I think, what my thoughts on it. Overall, it and and also like like his his um, I'm not gonna get into it. Actually, I'll explain it on my spoiler review. But yeah, guys, um, if you guys haven't watched it, go watch it. You know what I'm saying it, it, it isn't really as bad as Rotten Tomatoes portrays it to be. Um, we shouldn't even be listening to the Rotten Tomatoes anyways. You know what I'm saying because like they put it below a uh, Green Lantern in the movie, and I feel like Green Lantern. I'll, I'll get into that for another video, but like, I feel like this movie isn't that bad. But, like it isn't better than it. If I, I actually, it's at the same level. You know what I'm saying, but it's still something worth to watch. It's still something you might want to keep your eyes on, you know what I'm saying, or watch it, you know what I'm saying? You, it, it might be one of the movies where you, you kind of have to watch again to, like, process your mind on. But, like, in a way, it's, like, one of the movies where, like, you, where, like it's, 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 like, you watch it, it's, like, sure, it's all right, you know what I'm saying? But then you move on, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, it's not like something like Spider-Man No Way Home where it's, like, stuck on your mind all the time or stuck on your mind, like, like you want to keep seeing it again and again and again. No. But it's definitely one of the movies where it's like it's great. I mean, no, no I mean, I mean like it's good to watch as a like a one time, once in a while type thing. You know what I'm saying, but yeah. So next thing, guys, peace. Take care, y'all. Please like, subscribe, comment, and these are all my socials. So yeah, take care, y'all. Take care, peace, y'all.